Hey, what's up guys? It's Rudy from Procar Studio. And today we're gonna to be installing a Koyo radiator on our 9th Gen Civic project car. And we're also gonna go over some of the features and details as to why you might wanna upgrade the radiator on your project car. So as you can already see, we have a Koyo radiator that we're gonna be installing. Uh, the Koyo radiators are definitely a recommended upgrade for track cars, project cars, or high horsepower builds. Uh, some of the aspects that Koyo takes into account would be, you know, just the precision of the welds, the fitment overall, and some of the, you know, filler necks, drain plugs. There's a lot of features that are actually precision CNC machined items. So, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna get a high quality, well-fitting piece. And everything else is on here as far as bunks, uh, bracketry, and some of the fittings, obviously, for your coolant hose and your over, overflow tank. So let's go ahead and get started, get right into the installation of this Koyo High Performance Radiator. So after securely raising the vehicle, we're gonna go ahead and start removing the splash shield just to get, give us better access to some of the bracketry and hoses at the lower end of the radiator. First two clips we're going to take off are by the wheel well on either side. So to continue moving this plastic piece, we're going to remove all these push clips and 10 millimeter bolt, which are found throughout this under tray area. When removing the splash shield, the last thing that's gonna be holding it in place is this clip right here. So just wiggle that off. Before continuing any further, we'll go ahead and start draining the radiator, uh, just making sure we have a container in place. Turn the valve counterclockwise until you start seeing coolant come out. Next up, we'll remove the radiator shroud uh, by removing either clips, or in this case, we have our radiator shroud washers. After removing the radiator shroud, we'll remove the brackets holding the radiator and the AC condenser using a 10 millimeter socket. And repeat the same process on both sides. So looking behind the radiator core support, we're going to remove three connectors going to the radiator fans and some grounding harnesses. As you can see, we actually had to remove the battery, uh, just depending on what kind of intake systems you might have or where the battery is actually located. Next, we'll remove the harness clips, holding the harness to the fan shroud. and we'll remove this hold down clip for the cable hood latch. Next, we'll remove three fasteners holding the radiator support to the car on either side. And now we'll position the radiator support out of the way. Next, we'll remove the radiator hose. Uh, just keeping in mind, you might want to use a towel or something to catch some of the small drops. Now we'll undo the lower radiator hose clamp and also disconnect the harness and sensor being held onto the fan shroud.
At this point, the radiator should come straight out. So just go ahead and uh, take your time and take it out without damaging anything. All right, so as you can see, the biggest difference when upgrading to a Koyo radiator is gonna be the thickness. Now that's just what's readily apparent. The other thing is they use a, a finer kind of tube and fin design that allows for better cooling and airflow. So overall, you're just gonna be increasing the capacity of the system and increasing the efficiency of the uh, cooling fins as well. Beyond that though, a lot of the features transfer over so you don't have to worry about you know, having to mix match certain uh, fittings or bolts or anything like that. Every, everything should be able to just transfer over without a problem. So again, at this point, we'll go ahead and proceed with the installation by bolting on the fans, your overflow tank, any accessories and the sensors. Um, they do have a port here, which you can use to bleed the system or possibly even uh, insert a sensor if you wanted to. One thing to note is on the driver's side fan shroud, you might want to trim a little bit around the lower radiator outlet. At this point, we'll go ahead and drop our radiator in, making sure to put these grommets in place on the bottom. When installing the radiator, make sure you align everything properly. Don't pinch the grommets at the bottom and also try to avoid any, any damage. Starting at the bottom, we'll go ahead and connect the radiator hose and also the harness for the sensor. and we'll finish up by installing the under tray back on the car. That'll pretty much do it for the installation of the Koyo radiator on our ninth gen Civic project car. Overall, as you can tell, the installation is very straightforward. Nothing too crazy. Uh, you just wanna take care of not damaging anything during installation, also during the removal process. Now, before you, uh, you know, finish everything up, you wanna make sure everything's tightened down properly and then you're gonna go ahead and refill and bleed the coolant system. But for more information on that, check out the description below where we show you what Honda recommends. Uh, but let us know if you have any questions or comments about that. So this was the installation of the Koyu radiator on our ninth gen SI. Again, make sure to leave us a comment, give us a call if you have any questions. And once again, my name is Rudy from Pro Car Studio, and I'll see you next time.